Hi, my name is Stephen Forte. I've been scuba diving for the last six years and I've been a Paddy Master scuba diver for the last four. I'm currently a student from the University of Salford and this is my final year project. I've completed several of the Paddy professional courses while living and working in Southeast Asia uh, at a popular dive school and resort. With over a thousand dives and 200 certifications, I believe I have a wealthy knowledge of scuba diving experience, as well as teaching other beginner level divers. I'm currently in my final year of university, and this video itself is part of my final year dissertation project. With my experience as an instructor, I noticed that a lot of students, including myself, tend to get bored whilst watching the initial teaching videos. Uh, some of them are often outdated uh, and often lasting several hours. Whilst diving is fun, it does have certain elements of danger that do need to be taught to a student before they enter the water. However, many students uh, are holidays, like I was myself, and the last thing they want to do is to be stuck in a classroom uh, all the, when the first thing they want to do is to just get into the water. Uh, and this is where the Oculus Rift comes in. As you can see here, I've created a swimming pool environment where in reality most students would begin their first underwater experience. Uh, virtual, reality is an uh, virtual reality is engaging from the start. Including a gamification element to this distracts a student from the learning aspects while not sacrificing the important teaching elements. Straight away, students begin experiencing underwater, which makes teaching and giving important facts easier to explain as the students get a more fully immersive experience which they can understand. Uh, as you can see from the demo playing here, uh, it was made using the Unity Games engine that supports both the Oculus Rift integration as well as any 3D models I created using 3ds Max Studio. For the demo I focused on a diver's uh, buoyancy control and it's really a fundamental skill of fundamental skill for any level of scuba diver. Uh, precise control of buoyancy while underwater enables a diver to hover above reefs, to remain relaxed and comfortable while underwater, uh, and it's thought to be one of the most important skills a diver can master. So as you can see in the video here, the player is able to look around a 360 degree axis while using the uh, WASD keys to move around. They're also able to use the arrow keys up and down, to simulate using the BCD inflator hose to both rise and fall while they are underwater. Uh, one of the objectives within the demo is for the player to successfully swim through each of these uh, coloured rings uh, using their buoyancy control to uh, pass through the ring really without hitting the side. Uh, and if they do successfully do that then the light's going to go green. Uh, the player is also affected by uh, gravity elements uh, to simulate you know, being underwater as well, uh, so it is difficult to uh, maintain neutral buoyancy. So to play around, play around with the keys uh, to remain uh, neutrally buoyant. Another one of the objectives within the demo is this underwater cage. Once the player enters, they are affected by more gravity effects from all directions uh, and the player must act accordingly. For example, if gravity is pulling the player down, then it's typically like having too many weights on their weight belt. So the player must inflate their BCD to remain neutrally buoyant. Once the player completes this task or objective, the light uh, on the wall will turn turn green uh, and if they fail it then or if they leave the box too quickly then the light will turn red. Although the demo itself is still at a very basic stage I believe that the integration of VR at the initial beginner stages of scuba diving will allow for the student to be more engaged allowing them to focus more on some of the more essential skills and dangers of scuba diving within an immersive 3D experience. Once then the student is in the water they would feel more comfortable and confident in the skills they've learnt. Like I said earlier the purpose of this demo was to focus more on the buoyancy aspects of diving uh, but I believe that the integration of VR within diving uh, 
could cover a majority of the essential skills needed for a student to complete the beginner level course, but also progressing on to specialty courses. I would like to thank you for watching uh, my short video on the on my project uh, and to leave any feedback or reviews within the comments section uh, and also the qualification of, of, level, of the level of diver you're actually on yourself uh, would actually be really helpful in some of my documentation. And if you could follow the link in the description below to complete one of the surveys that would be awesome. Uh, thanks very much for watching.